hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a wig in store with this wig that i was gifted by ali pal um i just did like a cute little bust down middle part with two baby hairs i taught you guys throughout the whole process how to straighten your wig how to get it super flat how to do your baby hairs how to tint your lace a little bit how to define your parting as well um all the links to this wig will be down in the description bar below don't forget to follow my hair page if you want to book if you ever want to book me or get your hair done or if you ever need any tips and tricks or any inspo if you have any questions let me know and um keep on watching I was kindly gifted this wig by Ali Pearl Hair. They actually gifted me a really, really nice, like, chocolate brown wig. But I'll show you that in a second. They gave me two bald caps, a little, like, headband, a cute little pair of lashes, nice little edges brush, and a melt band. We love a fresh melt band. Band. they gave to me a 22 inch 13 by 4 hd lace frontal wig now this wig is literally so nice now i haven't had a wig this color um in quite a long time so i am very 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 excited to install this wig so the purpose of today's video is i'm going to show you how i usually install my wigs um, the wig actually came with a really really nice hairline. I don't know if you can see I did go through and pluck it a little bit extra Not too much, but um, I just wanted to give it a bit more I'm gonna talk you guys through like certain parts of the video. I've already done my bold cap method um, As you can see I tend to put my bold cap actually quite a lot further in front of my hairline purely because um i don't like having my wigs too close to my hairline i like actually having them a lot further forward first thing i'm gonna do is just take a little bit of my foundation the same foundation i've put on this cap because you can see it matches my skin tone really really well and i'm just gonna use like a flat foundation brush like so and then i'm just gonna brush some of the foundation on the inside of the cap just a little bit like this because you don't need too much and then i'm going to start the base of the lace so down here and then i'm just going to brush on the foundation you want to be not too heavy handed at the top um because it can make your lace look a bit interesting if it's like a bit too dark now i got a cap size small because i actually have a very tiny head like this wig head or wig is borderline too big for my head. So what I'm doing now is basically measuring up the hair with my hairline. And I've actually tightened the wig quite a lot, so this should be quite interesting. I'm gonna use a comb, like a flat comb like this, and I'm just gonna brush all the hairs out of my face. You use some crocodile clips like this and these are just gonna help to keep all your hair out of your face oh. the next step is always to measure out your ear tab so see here so what i always do is i use my comb and i measure up to where the top of my ear is to see if i can see the top of my ear like so and depending on how low I want my sideburns to go depends on how much hair well it depends on the angle so see here I could either take it all the way down here and go up or like straight across I've decided to go straight across because I don't really want like super low sideburns so I'm literally just gonna pull this hair up and out the way I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut And follow the line of my ear and then just go all the way around and down you guys are gonna see how much lace I just cut off look at that all of that come off but now you can see this sits right over my ear and it tucks like really really nicely 
So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And Uh, like I said, you can see slightly that here doesn't sit completely flat. I'm not sure if you can see. So I know that I'm probably going to have to go in and section this part of the wig off and cut it off. But I'll do that after gluing it. I already know where I want my wig to sit, which is exactly where it is at the moment. So I'm going to put some glue down and then I'm going to cut the lace and stick it down down i always use bold hold this is a glue that i use not bold hold ghost bond sometimes i use bold hold but i know that a lot of the ones on the market are fake so i'm just gonna go in with this and i'm gonna put like the way i'm gonna put the glue is i'm gonna put like half of it spread half of it on the cap and then half of it on my actual skin and I'm going to use one of these little like popsicle stick sort of like spatulas and just spread this out and then when it goes clear I'm going to do a second and possibly third layer as well. Here is more or less dry. I'm just gonna take my lace and just like pull it down into place. So. I always tend to focus on the sides more than the middle because I actually feel like once the sides are stuck down, you can do the middle quite easily. Now I know that the top of my wig here sits a little bit too like far back and I don't want it to cause like any ripples and creases in my lace so I'm literally just going to section off as much hair as I need to to get it to lay flat. Okay. Then I'm literally just going to cut all of that off. This looks a little bit crazy now. <laughs> then I'm going to cut off the side tabs as well in like a zigzag motion. Like so. going to do now is I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm going to press out the roots of my hair then I'm going to use some spritz brush the edges back and then I'm gonna tie it down with this melt band Now I've tied down the lace and then while the lace is tied down I'm going to go ahead and style this wig. So I don't know if I want to keep it curly um, in like it's body wave texture even though it is really really gorgeous. I feel like I want to press the hair out and straighten it so I think I'm going to yeah I think I'm going to straighten it into a side part um, as my heat protectant and silkening serum i'm going to use this bio silk therapy you can get this on amazon it's basically going to make your hair look like silk you only need literally a dime size amount 
So I'm gonna press out my hair. You guys can watch me press out my hair. Okay, so I finished um, straightening my hair. Um, I've decided to go for a middle part. So I'm now going to take off the, pardon me, the elastic band. And then we are going to sort out the baby hairs. I think I want a couple baby hairs on this wig. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can see like the placement of what I'm gonna do. So I kind of want, one baby hair that's going to sort of like stretch down here and then i want a little like side piece right here so i'm literally just gonna take the end of my raptor comb and then i'm going to go around like in sort of like a c sort of shape and then just pull these hairs down because this is roughly where i want it to go and then i think I also want like a little baby sideburn so I'm going to do the same thing where I sort of do it in like a C shape and bring these hairs down and round okay. and then I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna take some scissors like these, just some regular scissors, and I'm gonna cut my baby hairs like so. And then I'm going to take my little pencil colors. Now be careful when you do this because you could actually really, really burn yourself. But I'm going to take them and I'm going to curl the hairs upwards and then I'm going to curl these ones inwards. Be careful because you can burn yourself. We don't want anyone burning themselves, but you can burn yourselves. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my little edge brush. You can use mousse. I tend to use um, spritz, but I'm gonna use some a little edge brush like this. And then I'm just going to spray, mold your hairs like how you want them to lie, like so. And now for my middle parting. So I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna part my hair. Well, I already like pre-parted it, but I am gonna part my hair again. And just make sure that it is completely straight. Like so. And then I'm going to take my hot comb and just absolutely flatten my hair as much as I can final 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 step you're gonna take some concealer I'm gonna use the shade maple by Too Faced any usually I use the concealer that matches like what I'd use to highlight the underneath of my eyes I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a flat brush like this and then this is basically gonna like seal the deal we're gonna hope for the best so i'm just gonna place
down the middle just to define the part. I think I'm gonna do go a little bit more heavy handed. I am back. I just decided to quickly do my makeup, just a quick light beat. I actually really love this color. I've never had a brown wig and I think it just goes with my makeup really, really, really well. But um, this is actually the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this in-store. Honestly, I love the color. Like you guys can, you guys can see the goodness of this wig absolutely love it i do really really like it the wig is soft it was easy to straighten didn't have any issues with it frizzing up thank you guys for watching this video um like comment share and subscribe all the links to this wig will be down in the description bar below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys